All right, YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to be making a video request. Uh, Mr. Chris Mundy, that's his username, uh, has been wanting to see my lighters uh, for a while now. And he's been bugging me and bugging me and bugging me about it. And you know what? I thank you for bugging me about it because I really need to uh, to remember things. You know, I forget a lot. Um, so thanks for bugging me about it. <laughs> If you guys have any uh, video requests that you've given me in the past, keep bugging me about them if I've forgotten about them because I forget easily. So, all right. So, this is just one single box of my lighters. My other lighters are in storage, but the lighters that are in storage, um, those are most of my Zippos. Um, and the thing is, was I almost never. I've only bought two or three Zippos brand new, and all the rest of them were used or off of eBay still new in the package so um, first one off here is it says uh, it's, I think it's J G R J I think that's the initials on it um, it works just fine that would be nice if it had some fluid in it <laughs> and there's some tricks <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, that's my first Zippo. It's a 1995 Zippo. Um, we'll open the box here. I've got all my knives in here too. So we'll just sort through them here. And there's my brand new one. Never used it. I just left it in the package. Um, if you guys want to see a video of my knives too, I can do that. Um, but here's, this one's a Jet. Sometimes it lights and sometimes it doesn't. How about this one from a thrift store back where I used to live? I think it's like a dollar or two. Oh, that one's out. I've got butane in here somewhere. Oh. But when you open this one up and you light it, it's a green flame because it's a green frog. Um, Got, this is a Canadian beer company, uh, from what I've been told. Um, and you just push this down, as you can see it. When you push it down like that, it automatically lights, which is pretty cool. Um, here's my Nimrod pipe lighter. I'm not sure of the year, but it is pretty old. Um, Here's my tiny Zippo. <laughs> my thumb's bigger than it. And it is functional too. I just keep it in this case so I don't lose it. It does work, so that's kind of a neat little novelty lighter. I like the novelties as much as I do the Zippos because they're, you know, there's just different types. Hmm. That's odd. <laughs> Here's my chain lighter, which has a, a safe or kid safety on it. Um, yeah, you can't just open the lid. You actually got to sweep your finger past this. And then there's a little clip on the side. Here you go, you can see it. You push it in. You have to press it in and then pulled down on the arm. That's how you light it. Right now it has no butane, so... Here's the... I think this is one of my very first uh, Zippo knockoffs. It's when I first started getting into Zippos. Because um, I didn't have the money at the time to buy an actual Zippo, so I bought this for like five bucks off of eBay. Um, brand new, so... As you can see, it's got chip paint. Honestly, this is one of my favorites. It might sound silly, but you know, this is just one of my favorites. It's made by Star One. As you can see there. It's just kind of my, one of my favorites because it's just, you know, memories. Um, <laughs> this is my first trick lighter. This is the first one I, you know, learned to do tricks with. Uh, it's a good trick lighter though because, um, you know, you can beat the crap out of it and it's not a real Zippo, so. Um, you got your insert there, and it 
sparks like it should. Um, you got your hunting, my hunting zip or my hunting lighter. The lid sticks on it sometimes. There you go. Yeah, it's out of butane too. Um, I don't know why, but most of these are out of butane. Now I can see I can see these running out of fuel because they just naturally evaporate, but butane shouldn't <laughs> shouldn't do that. Now this is one of my the last ones that I bought. Um, I just like these ones that you have the, the flip up arm. This one actually I need to find a screw for it and it'll be fully functional again. But it you know flips up like the others did or do. Um, there's my Ronson. My Ronson lighter. Which I need to find a new jet for it. It's one of my one of, another one of my favorites because I used to just carry this around with me everywhere. Um, hence the the worn the worn look on it. <laughs> um, it's a good lighter though. I want to get this one working again. These are like two three bucks at Walmart, and they just work really good. I love the click of them too. This part, just a really good solid click instead of a really cheapy click like you know clicking like that. Um, we're gonna need to save this one for the last. There's a gen gentleman's lighter. As you can see, it's got a chain. Uh, this would go in on somebody's suit, uh, probably a cigar smoker, cigarette smoker. And it lights. It's got the lift arm lighter. Another one of my favorites. I didn't carry this one around too much, but I just like how small it is. Kind of neat. Um, this was the very first uh, Zippo Slim knockoff I got. So Rogers Windproof, made in Japan. You know, it's kind of an interesting lighter. Um, let's see. There's this one. Just get, <laughs> it's an aluminum cube. You open it up, and it's got this. And then you strike this sideways. As you can see there, that wheel is getting a little weak. Um, let's see. I still got a, a Star One brand new in its package. Just never pulled it out to use it, you know. Um, I have another one somewhere that I was using for the longest time. Um, it's just a the chrome. Hello. <laughs> but yeah. Um. Let's see. There's a kind of a rare lighter actually. Um, it's a France uh, Fuhrer Fudur. I don't know. Yeah, I don't pronounce those kind of words well. It's actually a throwaway lighter. It's just a uh, you know you use it and throw it away, but it's still filled with fluid. As you can see there. So it's kind of a rare lighter. Um, definitely a big lighter though. Um, I like it though. Um, it's pretty old though. I can't remember the actual date of it, but it's actually pretty darn old. Um, here's a Popeye, Popeye lighter. On it, it says, "I'm Popeye the Sailor Man." Toot toot. So, um, I've always loved Popeye growing up. Saw this lighter and just had to have it. It's another knockoff. This one actually has no name on it, so. You know, as long as it works, it doesn't bother me. Here is my gag lighter. You push this here, and it shocks you. So you give it to somebody, you know, to... Here you go, you can have a light. And you push that down to light it, and it shocks the crap out of them. Right now, the batteries are dead in it, because the cheap Chinese batteries, um, you know, they just gave out. Here is a park lighter. Um... Tennessee, USA. Um, it's very, very, very light. Um, I'm not sure what it's made of. Probably aluminum. Um, it's got a very funky insert on it. As you can see there. To a matchless friend from Link Belt. So, kind of interesting. 
and you, same thing with this one, you, just, you flick it and it sparks. Um, actually, this, the screw in the bottom that holds the flint in, I need to find a new one of those for this. But other than that, it works great. Um, I originally bought this for a friend, um, but came to find out that he was a pyro and actually tried to start um, two or three houses on fire, and he was put in juvie. So, uh, he's not getting that. And I'm not, I'm not helping him with anything ever again. <laughs> Your extra Zippo, Zippo flints. Um, now here is this brand new one. You know it. Um, this says twenty four ninety five, but I actually got it half off where I bought it because uh, the gas station that was selling these um, was going to discontinue selling them. They were going to stop, um, so they're selling them half off to seventy five percent off. I got this one half off because it has a decal. If it was just a plain silver or a plain something or other, plain black or something like that, um, it's 75% off. So I like I love John Deere though. So that's why I got the John Deere one. And it's still new in his box, so I can't remember what year it is. I think it's uh, an 08. Um, the code, a lot of people like the, to know the code on the back. See if I can focus here. No, oh, I'm focusing today. It's a 28681 John Deere. And then the barcode is, uh, the last digits of the barcode is 20681. And then a 9 while after, like two lines after, but I don't think the 9 means anything. And then you got just your regular old big lighters. You know. Um. You know what, I just remembered, I do have more, uh, two other lighters. Um, one of my favorites actually, in the back room. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. That one and that one. There you go. I found them. <laughs> um, so the two that I forgot to show you. So I have another. I have another Zippo the same size as this. It's a 1992 Zippo. I'm not sure where that is, but it's uh, brass. It's all brass. And I just polished it up too. It's really, really, really shiny. Um, I've got another one like that. It's another knockoff. It's made by Earth, Earth, uh, Earth Fire, I think. Um, that one's in my belt. I have a belt buckle that has a lighter in it. Um, here's my Helen lighter. It says Helen on it. It's been inscribed with the name Helen. Um, it's got a brand new insert in it. I sent this back to the Zippo company because the insert was rubbing on the inside and it. The old insert was beat up, and they replaced it. They put a brand new, brand new insert in there. So, and here is one of my favorites. Um, yep. You might be thinking, why is this one of my favorites? It's 101 years old. Um, it was made down here in the bottom. It was made in uh, 1910, and it's 2011, so it's 101 years old. Uh, September 20th, 1910 is when it was uh, it was made. And when you push this button, it pops open like that, and it automatically lights it. And <clears throat> you see these kind on cartoons. You see these kind on cartoons from time to time. Um, but you know, I, I never knew. I was I I didn't know that they were like really real because most cartoon things are, you know, made up. But it pops open like that. It's got a spring-loaded thing. A spring-loaded lid. Pops open the lights itself. Really, really neat. I love the slider. Um, as you can see, I guess it was all either, it might have been chrome-plated, um, silver-plated, something like that. Probably silver-plated. 
Now the whole thing was, but all that's worn off. As you can see there. It's had a lot of pocket use. Alright. So those are my lighters. Um, if you guys want to see all my knives, I can do a video of those. Um, that's just one of my beat up favorites. <laughs> so I guess I'll see you YouTubers later. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe. That'd be great if you give me a thumbs up, you know, comment. Um, if you guys have any re video requests, let me know them. If I've forgotten about you, I highly apologize. Um, please remind me again and bug me about it because, you know, I forget easily. So, see you later, YouTube. Bye.